Hello, I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Sony Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are in Movie Studio. And when we've finished our movie, we want to output it. There are a tremendous number of output options available. To get to the output options screen in Movie Studio, either click the Make Movie button here at the top of the screen, or go over to the Project menu and select Make Movie. It gets you to the same spot and you get this little uh, sort of wizard that will walk you through the process. If you want to upload it to YouTube or to Facebook, if you want to burn it to a DVD, it will automatically assemble the necessary files and port them over to DVD Architect or DVD Architect Studio. You can port the video back to your camera or portable device or you can save it to your hard drive. If you save it to your hard drive, you have a number of options. These are the basic preset templates for creating a Windows Media file, a QuickTime file, an MPEG-2, an MPEG-4 or MP4, or an AVCHD file. But we want to go into the advanced options here because I just want to show you how many different options you actually have for outputting your video in Movie Studio Platinum. This is a list of the video option outputs that are available. You see some of these are audio only. Those that are marked with audio or AAC, these are audio output formats. There's the Macintosh audio format format AIFF but most of these are going to be Dolby or they're going to be AAC or even MP3 audio. The video options are uh, video for Windows, there's Sony, there's Main Concept and there's QuickTime. Now Windows Media Audio and Windows Media Video these are almost never used anymore in all honesty. They're available for you here, but you see very few Windows Media files uh, used on the internet anymore. Likewise, if you go over here to QuickTime 7, you see there are QuickTime output files here, and these are all internet optimized. And sometimes you see MOV files or QuickTime files used online. For the most part, the world has gone to AVC or to MP4s. And there are two options for creating MP4s here in Movie Studio. One is the main concept. Main concept is sort of the mainstream for creating uh, MP4s. And then there's Sony's proprietary. Sony has created their own. And in all honesty, they're kind of a horse of pieces, my grandfather used to say. I doubt that you could tell the difference in the quality, but some people prefer a Sony workflow as opposed to the more mainstream main concept. Now, if we select main concept, you see that we have options for creating, uh, or there are already presets here, for creating video for a Sony tablet or an iPod or an iPhone. And then there are some video presets also. If we go to Sony's AVC, we have something similar. We have options for creating internet files, options for saving your video to a memory stick. This would be if you're going to play it on another computer. Don't be confused by all of this. I mean, why do you have so many options for memory stick? It's just a matter of how, how much video you want to squeeze on how big a stick. And there are options also here for creating AVCHD files and for creating video stream only files. Now, one advantage to Sony's is that Sony's outputs also have the option for MVC. MVC is multi-view video coding. That's what you would use if you were going to output a file for a Blu-ray disc that was going to be 3D, that was going to show on a 3D TV, on a 3D disc. You have the option here of doing that from the Sony output. So that's the great advantage of using the Sony output, but basically the AVC from Main Concept and the AVC from Sony are not that different. You can also create and modify your own templates, so if you like QuickTime and you want to output a QuickTime file, you can select an existing QuickTime file and click on the Customize Template button. That will bring into the customized screen where we can select, for instance, high definition 1920 by 1080. We can set the frame rate from 15 up to, say, 24. Make sure it's progressive scan. Then uh, we can also set it for, say, an MP4 AVCHD coding and with the high quality. And here we've got a very nice video. If I were to save this, it would save as a permanent template. As a matter of fact, I can do that. Click OK. And you can see now I have a modified, I can rename this if I want, I have a modified template that is uh, now capable of producing high quality AVC video, except that it'll have an MOV suffix at the end. So in case you need to be using an MOV file, you can create a custom file yourself. There are a couple of um, higher end outputs that are available here also from Movie Studio. One is Sony XAVCS. That is 
4K ultra high definition video. And you can see this 3840 by 2160 if you've got that workflow in your project. In other words, you have 4K video going into a 4K project, you can output it as 4K video. You can also output it though as a compressed high definition video too. There's also support for XD cam. That's almost unheard of in a consumer program. XD cam is a professional video format, but here in Movie Studio, you do have the option of also working with XD cam to a certain extent in the Platinum version of Movie Studio. So lots of great options for outputting your video. A number of these, like I say, are audio outputs, including the option to output MP3 audio, if you'd like to do that. Once again, Sony has packed in the features, even when it comes to output in this highly affordable consumer program. Now, if you want to know more about this program, we got lots of tips and tutorials here at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything there is to know about Sony Movie Studio Platinum, be sure to check out our books, the moviepix.com guide to Movie Studio Platinum, available at Amazon.com and of course right here at the Movie Pick Store. I'm Steve Rossetti. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again real soon.